what's up everyone it is Dave and there's Connor Craft down there below all right so today we're gonna do a video about something that I've been waiting for for about a week to arrive and it's finally here so uh, here we go all right so this is my little piece of paradise and I've got some flowers that I'm planting got some bushes that I've planted over here this one's struggling a little bit. Just planted this guy here. Got some stuff coming up there. Got this one that we just planted last night there. And then I've got this one over here. Got a rose bush back here at the corner of my shed, which you've seen a video about that. And then I've got my hummingbird feeder right here. Now the reason why I'm planting all these flowers is so that I don't have to feed my hummingbirds with feeders. So what do I need in order to make these flowers really go crazy and grow a lot? Well, that's what we're going to show you. Alright, so we've got something in this box that says, open this box immediately perishables inside well it's perishables because it's from crown bees I placed an order with crown bees for something I don't know what it might be <laughs> the suspense yeah, that's me. all right so we're gonna show you what we have inside here bit by bit um, all right. This is just my receipt. Um, this is going to give you a hint. Boom. Can you read that? The place you got it from is a <laughs> Yes, but we got leaf cutter bees for summer. So they give us um, leaf cutter releasing instructions. Got a bunch of bags. Make sure there's nothing in them. Make sure there's nothing in them. Should just be packing material, but just want to make sure there's nothing inside here. Throw my, throw my stuff away. All right. So what do we got there? We got a native bee guide. So this tells you about native bees. Sometimes people refer to them as solitary bees. So. These are not honey bees, all right? They don't, they don't sting, um, they don't gather honey. However, they pollinate about 300 times more than honey bees. Are those so, the things that were in our camper? So there you go. Dad? Yes, we had one that was at the campground in our camper. So a nice book um, that I will be reading a lot more tells you um, getting to know your your gentle solitary bees, like I said, they're gentle. They don't bite. So now we have getting started instructions. All right. So I bought the kit. So I bought the the um, habitat and and bee kit. All right. So there's that. It's got a bunch of different tools. <clears throat> yeah, it tells you um, about the different kinds of of bees that are on here in here too. Well, available to you. So here again, spring you want to do mason bees. And summertime, you do leaf cutter bees. All right, so this is Bee Guard. It's just a, a pest prevention bag. Um, I think you put this around the cocoon. What was that noise? Anyways, all right. So we'll read more about that. But Bee Guard, so it's a pest prevention bag. Protect developing um, whole nesting bees. So there you go. All right, so this is um, spray. yep, invite a bee spray for leaf cutters. Um, this, to my understanding, you can really use if you don't have, if you don't buy leaf cutter bees from them, um, you can actually use this and actually entice maybe some leaf cutter bees that are already in your area. Um, now, one thing about leaf cutter bees is they only fly about 300 feet, um, so you want to make sure that you have. Um, you know flowers and stuff for them to pollinate nearby which um, I do and my my house my backyard is in 300 feet so. all right so next 
Um, so if you'll notice these rods, all right, so these are the rods that you can, one of the options that you can get Ooh. are little tubes. They're alive. Oh, they are alive. All right, so <laughs> um, I went with this option. So as you can tell, there's a rubber band around it. You leave that rubber band on them. Um, and then this here tells you do not remove, right? So, um, but at the end of the season, I can harvest any cocoons that are in there and clean these bricks and all that kind of stuff. So this is their, basically their home, all right? All right, next. They're alive. Next we've got, oh, goodness. we've got our little bees that are alive. And they're alive simply because of the temperature. That's why it said to open this up as soon as possible. So, um, yeah, that's, that's those little guys. So we'll set them right there. The box is empty. All right. Yep. Oh, is there a bee in there? Yes. We have a bee that has... Escaped. Oh, he has perished. Oh, well. Still got some. Sad little bee. All right, so this is the house that I bought. Um, I did buy this extra piece um, oh, that, that you that you uh, put the bees in this and then let them fly out um, oh, of this so little hole. So that way they're protected a little bit while they're still cocoons. So obviously um, we, we need, cocoons? I don't know. Um, so this will slide into here like this and then they'll go in here and nest in here. All right, so what we've got to do is we've got to hurry up and get this thing mounted. Um, <laughs> I think this is cool. Yeah. This is really cool. So a little mounting thing on the back. So we've got to get, um, we've got to hurry up and get these mounted so these guys can get out. All right, so we're going to pause, and then we'll show you where we mounted this, um, which should be um, in a south-southeast facing direction. That way it catches the morning sun um, and, you know, heats them up, wakes them up. From the nighttime, and then but they don't catch the full blast of the How summer heat. All right, all right, should be I think 200 bees in there. All right, we'll be back. All right, so I have chosen this shed here, the one that was on the right when you were looking at it earlier, and instead to put it about five feet high, so that's roughly right around there. All right, and then um, so I'm gonna go ahead and slide this. Oops, I'm going to go ahead and slide this tray in here all the way to the back, like it says. And then um, I have that invited bee, this stuff here. So the extra tubes that they gave me, I am going to just go ahead and um, put these in here on top. Maybe they'll use them, I don't know. But if so, that's cool. So we'll just, actually, you know what, we'll put those to the side. Let's just do that. I gotta kick over the back a little bit. Oh, dropped one. So anyways, we'll put these over here on the side like this. Oh, sorry. Didn't realize I had a bag in the way. Horrible camera, huh? Alright. So, we'll put this other one over here on the side. All right, then we've got this Vita spray. Literally, you just take the cap off and it's kind of like a little spray here. And we're just gonna get it going. The wind's wanting to blow it out of the way, but we're just gonna spray this here. I don't know how much, but. All right, so we're gonna take that out. And in a minute, we're going to put the bees in here, in this top tray. Um, but it told us to put the bees in the refrigerator for 15 to 30 minutes. Um, any of them that have just, you know, it basically is to calm any of them down that have already emerged from the cocoons. And as you can tell, um, I definitely did. Um, so, as you can see here in this uh, in, in Vita B, it's got 2% cocoon pheromones and then... 98% something else. I don't know. You can pause the camera if you want and read that. But there you go. All right, so uh, there it is. We're going to be back in just a minute and put the bees in here. All right, so Connor's got our bees. 
they've been in the refrigerator for like 15 minutes so um, we're going to go up here to the bee house now and we're going to take this tray out and I want you to untie that and place them in the tray with the front of the bag um, towards the front. That's not the front. Just lay it in. Don't pour it. Just lay the bag in there. Alright. So, that should be good. We'll see. You can hold the camera. Alright. So, I'm going to tuck these in here. And here again. Hopefully I didn't lose too many bees with this weather, but... Alright, so they're in there and they'll warm up and uh, we'll keep an eye and... Do we gotta do the spray first? We'll keep an eye. I did the spray already. Oh, okay. um, so we'll keep an eye and see when the first one comes out. Yay! Thanks for watching. Alright, so one's coming out right now. There's a second one. <laughs> Checking his wings. <laughs> so that's what these little guys look like so don't kill them whenever you run into them look at them coming out Yeah, so these aren't these aren't flies, guys. These are little tiny bees that pollinate like crazy. So if you see these out and about, don't kill them. Uh, we've probably had about 20 come out so far, and uh, like I said, once once they very all <laughs> once they all come out, yeah, they're very tiny. Once they all come out, then. Um, I'll check the bag and see how many I lost. Hopefully not too many. Maybe. Oh, there comes another little guy. Yay! And he's out. He's out. <laughs> Still get a little. <laughs> so as you can see, so I got I got the the house here, and then um, to the other side of my yard, I measured it out from corner from this from this little bee house <laughs> to the other corner is about seventy. 76 feet so under 100 feet and they'll travel um, 300 oh, feet so maybe my neighbors that's a decent amount maybe hey. my neighbors can actually benefit hey, from this his as butt. well shaking his booty <laughs> <laughs> booty shake why do they shake uh, their butt is that how they get rubbed up know. they it's get rubbed vroom, up vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know because they and do that and then they off. launch oh, oh another another there he is going up under the the, oh, there's the, a few, dang. Yeah. Wow, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> so eventually they should hopefully be going in there? Yep. So um, if you want to go grab that Vita, that Vita spray, and we'll spray a little bit more just in case. So, yeah, man. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. And it's all about these native bees, man. Grow more food and flowers. Don't get me wrong, honeybees are are awesome. Um, oh, there's another. But, but these little guys, they do a lot of work too. So, don't discount them. Are honeybees more difficult to take care of? I think we used it all. Do we have to get oh, more? Oh, I smell it. Yeah, I smell it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one landed on my head. <laughs> He's not on your head anymore. <laughs> I, I felt it go thunk. So, yeah. That's, Coming out pretty that's, well. Yeah, that's quite a few. Gotta show that so to mom because I told her to come out, but she's not coming out. <laughs> I think she's scared of bees. She thinks they're like honeybees that they're going to sting her. So. She got on my, it, one got on my elbow. <laughs> Here's one. On me. Just how tiny they are. I still get scared though because I'm not used to having bees. Try to zoom up on it. <laughs> One jumped on my ear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, here goes. Oh my god. God, that still scares me. Yeah, they're going over there. Well, they're going, going to different places. There. I've seen one go up in the tree right above us. Yeah, I literally saw one go. So, <laughs> yep. All right, so I keep recording, recording, record, guys, but there they are. So um, it's crown bees. Is where I got these from. Um, I'll have a link down below if you're interested. So. Just start the paper. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, y'all. Three. Unless that one's dead, I don't know. When life keeps falling and wonder where he is in all this mess, he's right there to guide you, unseen, you're not a